Hi, my name is Eric Michael, founder of the Power Life System, and today I'm going to be sharing with you the five happiness hacks so that you can be happy regardless of whatever is going on around you. Happy, have that feeling of equanimity, joy, where ultimately things go a lot smoother and you're feeling a lot greater. This video is a follow-up on a conversation that I was having and some advice and some suggestions I was giving to an individual who's very close to me, who's really stressed because of some things that were going on around or outside of her control. And she was feeling stressed, she was, um, her blood pressure was going up, and she was tense, not really enjoying anything, she definitely wasn't happy. And to compound it even more, she was even more stressed because her husband was having some extremely high blood pressure at the same time that she was stressed about this thing that had happened. And one of the natural or the, you know, the natural habitual response was to eat ice cream, chocolate, cookies, things like that to quote, solve the stress. But if you look at how your body reacts when you intake sugar, that actually can aggravate the stress response. So this video is well, dedicated to her. It's also dedicated to you. And I want to also congratulate her because after applying the things that I shared and obviously tailoring it to what is best for you because ultimately you know what's best for yourself, she was able to solve it and have a tool that she can use and use to go from stress to happy. And she's using it. So literally, I think she got it solved within minutes after starting to apply what I'm going to share with you. So prior to explaining the hacks, the happiness hacks, what I want to have is an understanding and agreement that we got to how we are today over a really long period of time and for most of it or maybe all of it, it wasn't a very conscious activity. For example, lots of little things happened, some of them being more emotional that probably shaped us a little bit more, but pretty much at no time along did we say, well, I'm going to get myself to be like this. It was more of a natural process where it happened without, quote, trying or pushing or forcing to make it happen. Most people, including the individual who inspired me to share the information, she was trying to, quote, change. In other words, we're going to force it. We're going to make it happen. However, what she was finding for herself and what a lot of people find is that by trying to force it, well, it's not how we became the way we are right now. And well, it seems logically correct, right? I'm going to get myself to be like that. I'm going to get myself to go do that. Ultimately, what happens is that, well, it doesn't work. And before that point where it doesn't work, there's a lot of excuses like, well, I can't do it because insert blank, or I'll do it later, or I'll do it, but I don't, I don't feel like it today. So what we want is a, something that's a lot better, that gets you the results without having to like, struggle or try to force it, knowing that that's not how we became how we are today, and how struggling and forcing often doesn't work. Before I go into the hacks, there's one more really, 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 really important agreement we need to have, and that's called motivation. To illustrate this concept, for this individual who inspired me to share this information, she obviously wants her husband to be healthy, yet his blood pressure was going up really high at the same time that she was extremely stressed. What a coincidence. I explained to her how mirror neurons work and that we're, as humans, if, we, if, if we're around somebody who's happy and joyous, we're going to become more so. Have you ever had a little baby smile at you and you just smile? And it doesn't matter what, quote, mood you were in before, you smile. Or if someone comes in and they're in a bad mood or they're just, Ugh, well, then you start to pick that up too. And so that's natural. That's wonderful. That's how we can get along and, and, and be cohesive and connect with other people. In this situation, however, if one individual is continually at a high elevated stress level, it could influence the other person. And if an individual has, for example, hypertension, then that could aggravate the symptoms, increase their blood pressure. Obviously, the results of that are pretty negative. So what was the motivation? Why was I sharing this? Well, the underlying reason for me to share this was because when we identify motivation that's extremely strong for you, well, for, I mean, for her in this case, then an individual is more likely to actually apply the methods. When she applied the methods, right, immediate results, instantaneous results, I mean, well, you know, 
couple minutes to apply them, instantaneous results after that. So in other words, she got immediate results by applying the methods. So for her, the motivation was, well, let's have her husband be well and happy and have happiness in their lives. And it's as simple as doing these hacks. For yourself, though, what you're going to need to do is identify what is going to motivate you. Either some pain, right, or something bad happening, or something really good. What is going to motivate you to do something just a little bit different than what you've been doing before so that you can have this happiness in your life? You can't have this tool to go from whatever to happy whenever you want, all within you. Now that we have the agreement that we're, we're not going to try to force things and that you're motivated to do it, hack number one is become present. Place your awareness on your body, and you can do this as many times as you want throughout the day. The great time to start is first thing in the morning when you're still in bed. Place your attention on your body from your feet to your head, your head to your feet, and as you do so, allow each part of your body to relax even more deeply. As you're starting and getting more familiar with this, allow yourself as much time as you'd like so that you can place your attention on a one, one part of your body and allow your mind to focus exclusively on that. If some thoughts come into your mind, accept them, welcome them, say, welcome, I'll talk to you later, and allow them to also leave really nicely and then allow your focus to return to that part of the body, relaxing it even deeper now and then continuing until your attention is completely on your body, on the moment, and you feel everything relaxed even deeper now. Hack number two, be thankful. Say to yourself, either out loud or uh, silently, I'm thankful for, and then insert, whether it's something that you consider small or large, get thankful for everything that comes into your mind. If you want to expand this even more, which is wonderful, is include items or things that you're thankful for in the spiritual, the health, enjoyment, the interpersonal, social, and then the financial areas. I would recommend in that order. And then now connect with the feeling you have when you're thankful. For example, I, I say, I'm thankful for the clothing I have. That by doing that, I start to feel a sense of relaxation, joy, positive things. So connect with the positive feelings that you start to have more and more of as you're thankful for everything that you consider even small or large in your life. Number three is whatever is, quote, bothering you or potentially stressing you, or it could be something maybe that just, let's even rename it even better, where something outside of your control that is maybe not going exactly as you would ideally desire it to. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna experience it. We can close our eyes or we can keep our eyes open and see whatever it is going exactly as you most desire. Go into as many details as you can, the colors, the sights, walk inside it if it's something that's 3D, or really experience it in all types of details, different angles, different perspectives, large, small, add in some sights and some smells, as much as you can. The more you do, the more real it's gonna be for you. Exactly as you most desire it to be. Number four is connect with the positive feelings you have now that you're experiencing the thing or things that you most desire. The more intensely you do this, the better. Because what may have required years or many years to become the way we are, the way you are right now over lots of little events, by having the highest intensity emotional experience where you just experience, but now you're gonna feel the emotions. The more you have the emotions and the feelings, all of these wonderful chemicals are going to be released in your body and this is going to become the, the way you see reality. This is going to become more and more of your reality. So the, the greater the amount of emotions you have, you can basically condense what took this long into boom, right now, right now. Right now you can have the, these, these incredible positive feelings of happiness, of joy, of euphoria, all related to whatever it is that's maybe outside of your control, as well as that, that zen-like peace that Oh, things are fine, regardless of whatever is going on around you outside of your control. Hack number five is become really aware of any type of tension in your body. It could be in your voice. It could be the way you're reacting to other people. It could be the way you're starting to think about things, maybe lack of clarity, lack of ability to think 
um, lack of joy, happiness. Become really aware. And as soon as you maybe even notice the slightest bit, which could be triggered by something that happened around you, boom, you can go ahead and do these, these first four hacks really quickly. You could do them in a matter of condensed a lot, seconds, minutes, and bring yourself back to that happy place where the more you do this, then that happy place becomes your new habit. That becomes the new who you are because you've condensed it down by making it more emotional as well as by going into even more detail about the experience. So it becomes one of those few experiences in our entire lives that because of the emotional significance that we place on it, that that becomes what really truly shapes us into who we want to be. Who you are now is a happy person, becoming happier and happier and more joyous continuously. To have the best and fastest results, happiness. The most important thing is to be able to visualize a mental experience at greater and greater, greater intensity so that this new happiness reality for yourself becomes that the fastest. To help you with that, I've created a free guide. You can click below the video. You can have instant access and you can download it right now. So please go do that. Click below the video, download the guide, how to visualize a mental experience so that you can start doing it, apply it, and get even faster results. Questions, comments, put them below the video. Feedback is important so that I can share and tailor this content to most positively impact your life the fastest. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and today live with even more happiness, even more joy, even more smiles and thankfulness for everything. And I look forward to sharing with you on our next video.